Hey students, it's Megan. And Dara. And today we're going to talk about the importance of writing and the role it plays in the college process. Here are today's key points that you're going to want to remember. Number one, personal statements allow college admissions counselors to learn more about you as a person. Number two, the most important part of a high quality personal statement is selecting a message that reflects something positive, personal, and unique about yourself. And three, these statements should be organized, vivid, conversational, and mechanically sound. Like standardized test scores, personal statements can be the source of a high volume of stress as you prepare for the college application process. This is because writing an essay from start to finish is a concrete task over which you have a significant amount of control, and so a lot of your anxiety around the quality of your application is channeled into making it absolutely perfect. As with test scores, however, it is important to keep in mind that your essay is just one of many important components that will impact your chances of being admitted to a given school. Colleges that require an essay as part of their application requirement do so for two purposes. One, to gauge your written communication skills and to learn more about you. This essay is a chance for you to communicate your personality and highlight one or two of your personal characteristics that might not come through in the application piece of your application, but that you think would have made a compelling potential addition to your school's campus. The personal statement will require a very different style of writing than most of the academic papers you have been writing in high school, and so it may prove challenging and time-consuming for even those of you who have always excelled in this area. This piece of write, writing is not about demonstrating how much you know, but about showcasing yourself to the reader in a sincere, uh, engaging, and compelling way. This means that the content, tone, and structure of the essay will be different from what you are likely used to. In this section, we will discuss the main criteria for a strong personal statement and walk step by step through planning, drafting, and revising your writing. For a personal statement to be successful, it needs to communicate one or a set of your personal characteristics in a way that is positive, compelling, and engaging. To pull this off in a shorter piece of writing, you will want to think in advance about each of the criteria for success highlighted here. Your essay should have a clear, meaningful, and positive message. Your message, or your thesis in academic terms, is the characteristic of yourself that you most want to communicate through your writing. This characteristic this characteristic could be personal, academic, or professional, but it will need to be a positive one that causes the admissions committee to think of you as someone they want or need to have as a member of their campus community. Your message should be as specific and unique to you as possible and demonstrate genuine self-reflection. Here are some examples um, of a strong message like, I am a resilient person who consistently turns hardship into strength that I use to make the world a better place. Or, I am genuinely passionate about the learning process, particularly when it comes to hands-on projects and activities, and my life's mission is to share this love of learning with others. Or, I have a talent for finding humor, even in the bleakest of circumstances, and I use this humor to help others through difficult times. Your essay should communicate your message convincingly through a story or series of, of examples. Instead of simply describing the characteristics that you want to communicate, your personal statement will center around one or more example of your demonstrating the characteristics or the story of your discovering or developing it. This, serve, this, serves, as a, this serves as a way for you to prove that, you, that what you are saying about yourself is true the same way, you trans, the same way your transcript proves your academic qualifications. Telling a story also creates a much more interesting reading experience for the admissions committee. You may uh, have read hundreds of thousands of these essays each year and is looking for something that stands out in the pile. Your essay should be engaging and easy to read. Your tone and vocabulary should strike a balance between the formal and the informal, not as stilted and jargony as an academic paper, but not as so casual that it's read like a text message from a friend. Prioritize economy of language, never using five words when one or two would do the job. Use vivid descriptions and examples rather than direct narratives to communicate important points. In the writing biz, we call this show, don't tell. <laughs> and do not be afraid to use humor, especially if this is an important component of your personality that might endear you to the reader. 
Your essay should demonstrate flawless mechanics. Although the personal statement may be more informal in tone than most academic writing, that does not mean that you can lower the bar when it comes to mechanics. You and multiple qualified helpers should proofread the essay closely to ensure that there are no grammar, spelling, or punctuation mistakes that might distract the reader from the content of your essay. Your essay should answer the given prompt and meet, but not exceed, the word limit. In reality, most personal statement prompts are more of a tool to spark your thinking than an actual requirement, and most applications offer a choose-your-own-topic option. Because of this, I recommend that you build your essay around the message you want to convey and not worry too much about fitting it into a specific question. Use the word limit, typically like 650 words for the common application, as an indication of how long your essay should be, and take a price is right approach, aiming to get as close as you can to the limit without going over. Because the personal statement is likely a new style of writing for you, I recommend beginning the planning process by reading a variety of high quality essays examples. By no means do you want to emulate or copy the content of a sample essay. Trust me, this is not what you want to do. <laughs> But seeing examples of strong messages and how they are uh, convened can ground you in the vision of success and spark some ideas for your own work. Once you have a good idea of what a strong personal statement looks like, your first planning step would be to brainstorm and select your message. One of the most common mistakes made by students planning uh, their essay is to jump in straight into the topic or the story through which they will demonstrate their personal characteristics. Once you've selected a clear, specific, positive and meaningful message that you want to convey in your personal statement, it is time to select the story or series of examples that you will use to get this message across. The topic that you choose can be the story of how your chosen characteristic was discovered or developed, or it could be one of a series of stories that demonstrate how this characteristic has played out in your life. A student writing about her strong leadership skills, for example, might write about the first time she was placed in a leadership role and how she found her footing. A student writing about his resilience might share a series of examples of hardships he has faced and how he's overcome them. Contrary to popular belief, your topic does not need to be dramatic, life-altering, or tragic in order to be a compelling vessel for your message. I've read essays about buying shoes and getting a haircut that are just as effective as essays about more significant life events. The most important factor is your chosen topic communicates your message in a compelling, convincing, and engaging way. All right, this is enough for today. Now it's time to do some writing.